everyone, this is Jerry Crabb, author and illustrator of New Kid, a graphic novel written and illustrated by me, Jerry Crabb. So, uh, first of all, thank you to everyone at the Blue Bonnet Committee for all the amazing stuff that you do. So, thank you very much for your support. So, why do I think it's important to create diverse characters in books? Um, I have to say the biggest thing is I don't really remember having books that I really bonded with as a kid. And as a result, I feel like I went from reading Dr. Seuss or having it read to me to Spider-Man comics to almost nothing for years until I was an adult because I never really found that book that touched my heart. So when I sat down to do New Kid, I thought, you know, what book would I have wanted when I was in middle school? Um, I did not grow up with, like my sons uh, did, with Diary of a Wimpy Kid and Smile and so many wonderful, wonderful books. So I'm very jealous of all the kids that have these great books these days because I did not have it. But I guess if I did have it, I wouldn't have set off to write these books. So I guess there's a silver lining there. Um, so Jordan's character, the character of Jordan Banks, uh, is a combination of my experience of being one of the few kids of color uh, attending a private school, as well as both of my sons. So I did go to school in Washington. No, I grew up in Washington Heights in New York, just like Jordan. In fact, the house where Jordan Banks lives is the house where I grew up. I did take the M100 bus from Washington Heights all the way up to Riverdale. I did want to be an artist. My parents did not want me to be an artist because they did not think that you could make a living as an artist. And they thought that I would be living in their basement until I was 60. Um, so I do hope to move out soon. Just, you know, so buy more new kid books, just saying that will help me. Um, and what illustrators do I look up to? You know, one of my favorite illustrators is also my good friend, Eric Velasquez. Um, over the years, seeing his professionalism and his determination to create stories uh, with African-American and Afro-Latino uh, characters in the lead, uh, his uh, dedication to detail, uh, just professionalism we keep each other company sometimes while we're drawing and he's painting till three o'clock in the morning while I'm working on this and sometimes I'll go hey you know what do you think about this you know this is the easy way out I don't do that anymore mind you okay in case my editor's listening and then he'll go you know um yeah you gotta you gotta start from scratch and I did and then I mimicked that and it has been he's been a, a really amazing person uh, I love his, one of his newest books, Octopus Stew, is one of my all-time favorites. Um, I'm also a big fan of Elizabeth Acevedo. Um, again, I wish I had her when I was a teen because I would have been a reader at a much younger age. Uh, Renee Watson. I mean, there are so many wonderful people. Um, let's see, what advice would I give to kids who are like Jordan Banks or myself who did not necessarily fit in you know, um, you there is a saying to go where you are celebrated. Um, and yeah, you know, like some people want to be like, oh, I want to be with that group, you know. But I did learn to go where I was appreciated and where I was celebrated. So you find you're not the only one who's like you. So you will find other people like you. So if it's a sport thing or a cartoon thing or a manga thing or another new kid fan, which hopefully there are a lot of you, um, you know, you start slow and you work into it and you build up a, a friendship as opposed to always feeling that there is no one like you because that is not the case. There is someone like you. Um, and what advice would I give to young authors and illustrators to improve their skills? One is to write and draw. Write, 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 draw, draw, draw. Um, even with as much work as I put into New Kid, and I always thought I was, you know, I already thought I was pretty good, but I drew so much uh, for New Kid 
that while I'm working on the sequel, Class Act, um, I feel like I'm a better artist than I was even a year or two ago because I've worked that much harder to get better. So don't just do one sketch or one paragraph and say, okay, I'm done. You know, redo it, rework it, see what other people do and enjoy it. Don't put so much pressure on yourself that you can't enjoy whatever it is that you're passionate about. Okay, because one of the things is I can start from 7 a.m. and go to bed at 3 a.m. And I absolutely love to do it. Okay, so if I put that much pressure on myself, every little line I'd be erasing, I'd be rewriting, whatever, and just put so, uh, so don't do that. Relax, enjoy it, have fun. Okay, that's it. Thank you again to my friends at the Blue Bonnet Committee and to my editor and publisher at HarperCollins. This is Jerry Craft, author and illustrator of Boom, New Kid, and soon to be Class Act. <laughs>